Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. So, you want to bring something from one world into another world. Well, you can easily import and export block data with the use of schematics. Basically, a lot of creators and builders will use schematics to put them up and be available for download so that you can add them to your maps. Think of this as sort of like a copy and paste where you can save the copy and then transfer it to another computer or to another map. Also, other editing tools like World Edit can use schematics and they're a great way to move structures around worlds instead of having the full world for download. So first, let me go ahead and import in a schematic and then we'll talk about exporting them later. There's an import tool, so we're going to go ahead and click that. And uh, we have put it into our schematics folder, which is right up here. I have this omgcraft.schematic, and I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now you can see attached to my cursor is what I'm going to import. I'm going to go ahead and right click and move around, and I'm going to use the scroll wheel. Now this has actually kind of flipped around, as you can see by the RAF, and this is of course in the preview mode that MC Edit is, is you're used to working with. So uh, you can kind of see that it's, it's not quite correct if I wanted to look at it over here. So I am going to have uh, to flip this. So I actually have to hit mirror. And hopefully this should be correct. Of course, the, um, uh, for me at the moment, the rendering isn't actually showing up. So I'm going to go ahead and click right there. And now it is aligned. Once you click, you actually, oh good, so it is going to go ahead and render in a preview here. And so you can see that this, this looks really great. Let's say that, you know what, I actually want this a few, it's kind of like in the trees here. I want it a few blocks uh, up. I can click and hold the nudge tool and raise it up. So now it is not in the trees anymore. And let's even say like I wanted it closer to me. I can go ahead and do that. Uh, so that is how I'm going to import a schematic. Once I like the placing where everything is, click the import button and it will build in those blocks. So now I have this really, really cool OMG Craft logo pasted into my world. Now, how on earth do you get these schematics in the first place? Well, you could either go to a YouTube video uh, or another website that offers schematics and download them. But let's say, you know what? This house right here, this is my favorite house in the world, and I want everyone to be able to copy and paste them into their worlds. So let's go ahead and select the house. Click once, click again. I'm going to go ahead and nudge that yellow square down so that it gets the floor as well. Now, there is an export button down here in the selection tool. By the way, I selected that using the selection tool. Go ahead and hit export, and you can go ahead and save the schematic name. Let's name this the coolest house of our... It's a really long name, but you know what? It's very descriptive, so we're going to keep it. Go ahead and hit save. And now that is in my schematics folder, and I can send that to someone else. And that covers just about everything in MC Edit. There are a few other details like holding down shift a lot of times adds an extra feature to everything so if you're in the middle of scrolling to try to make something big if you hold down shift it does like a super scroll that goes really fast or if you're using the brush tool if you hold down shift and click once and then drag and click again it actually makes a line in between your brush like if you need a perfect line for the brush to paint in, kind of useful features. And so that wraps it up for our tutorial of MC Edit. If you have some feedback that you would like me to know about, please feel free to email me at mail at omgcraft.com. We're also on Twitter, so make sure you follow the show at omgcraftshow is our username. And be sure to subscribe, so head on over to twit.tv slash omgcraft and you can find all of the past videos and also links to subscribe to audio and video and all of the different types of podcatchers that you could possibly ever want. Thank you so much for watching this long form tutorial of MC Edit. I will hope to see you on another episode. See you later. Bye.